Hello, and welcome to Lecture 12. Wow, I can't believe it's Lecture 12 already. I hope you've been paying attention so far, because things are going to get more interesting. For the last class, we created an image viewer. You type in what you want to show, and the picture shows up. It was a pretty cool program, but you have to memorize the name of the pictures. This could get difficult, especially if, if you have a lot of pictures. So instead, we're going to build a better version of the same program. Let's take a look at the program we're going to build. So this is the program. Basically, on the left side, we have a list box that contains all the pictures in the folder. Then, when we click on the item in the list, the corresponding picture shows up. Besides being an avid Python programmer, I also try to be a photographer. Here are some portraits I have taken. Check them out. This may seem like a rather easy program. However, there are lots of concepts that we need to cover to program this. First, we have to understand how to get the names of all the pictures we have in the folder. Once we get all the names, we need to decide which item is a picture, which item is a program. We only want to put the pictures in the list. We don't want to be clicking on a program. Once we decide which ones are the pictures, we need to put them in the list box. Once we have them in the list box, we need to make it so we can click on the list box. When we click on the list box, the picture will show up. Yeah, this is a lot of concepts. But none of it is really hard if we do them one by one. So far, we have only worked mainly with the TK into library. There are actually hundreds and hundreds of other libraries that help us do different jobs. In order for us to program our application today, we will need to use another library. The library is called OS library. O for orange and S for s I don't know, C. OS here stands for operating system. It basically gives us information on the current operating system that you're running. Depending on your background, you might not know what an operating system means. Now that you know a little bit about programming, you can picture operating system as a really, really, really large program that runs everything on your computer. The fact that your mouse moves is because there's a programming telling it to move. Everything you do on the computer is just running on this large program. Everything you see on the monitor is not magic. People actually program them the same way we program Python. Except we only program like 20 lines, while they program like 20 million lines. There are many languages that people use. We just happen to use Python because it's such a beautiful language. So, there are four major types of operating systems. Most people use Microsoft Windows. When I say Windows, this includes um, Windows 2000, NT, XP, etc. The second type is more widely used in companies, which is called Unix. Most of the programs in Unix do not work in Windows, and vice versa. Apple computers, you might have heard of them, run their computer also on a different system. The fourth OS is called Linux, which is basically Unix, except it's free. Most of the programs will not work if you try to switch operating systems. If you, have a, if you program something on Microsoft, it won't work on Unix. One of the main advantage that Python has is that it works on all four systems. Instead of programming four times for all s four systems, you only have to program once, and it just works. This is an amazing capability. So with this OS library, we are now capable of finding out information on our current operating system. For example, if I want to find out which operating system I'm using, I would do this. First, I will import the OS library. Then I will print out the name. The word name is a special tool in the library inside OS. Basically tells you the name of the operating system. If I run the program now, it will tell me what operating system I'm currently running. For me, 
it will say posi x but you probably have something different notice that I'm not running my Python program on idle interpreter anymore that's because I prefer using my own which you see the outputs directly at the bottom you can really use anything you want I just taught you on the idle interpreter simply because it's easy remember in the first class I explained that libraries are like toolboxes each library contains tools that help you do different things so far we've only been using the TK into library the TK library helps us draw windows and buttons the new one that we, we just learned today the OS library simply help us get information about a computer system the reason why I'm explaining this library so much is because it has a tool that we need let me quickly go back to the program we are programming take a look at, at this list we're somehow getting into the computer and finding out the name of all these pictures once we get the name of the pictures we put them into the list box but how do we get the names in the first place well this is where the OS comes into the picture if you type this command print list dir the current directory this will give you everything inside the same folder to give you a better idea of what this command means in Unix and Linux operating system folders are called directories you can think of them as the same thing so list dir means to list everything inside the directory what's inside the parentheses is the path of the folder over here I use dot slash this is also a convention that means the current folder so this whole thing means so wherever your program is list what's inside the same folder the concept of path might get kinda confusing for some people since this is an introductory class let me do another quick example let's say I create another folder inside our current folder we'll organize all the pictures into a picture folder now if we run the program we will get only three items let's try to run it see how we took all the pictures out they are now in the picture folder so how do we get the picture inside the picture folder we change the path name instead of the current folder we use we change it to the name of the folder we want to use in our case we call the folder that we just created picture so we want to type picture backslash so now if we run the program it will go and look into picture backslash and see what's inside the picture folder let's run the program see how we list all the pictures now the name you put in the list directory is the path name of the folder you want to see there's a lot more to the concept of relative and absolute path but I'll leave that to another day since we're running out of time we'll pick up on this topic next class for your homework I want you to do a little research on the different types of operating systems what are they and what are the pros and cons with them this will teach you a lot about computers um, if you don't already know so this is all the time we have for today this is Che until next time